Hello, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today we're gonna take a look into Ubuntu Cinnamon 25.04 STS, that's short term support. And of course, let's head to the website first. The website is ubuntucinnamon.org. And of course, you could also check out other Ubuntu flavors in their official website. That's ubuntu.com slash desktop slash flavors. Let's check out the Ubuntu Cinnamon. I think this is the page, right? Uh, yes. So the background of Cinnamon is actually a community driven by a flavor of Ubuntu mixed with Linux Mint flagship desktop, which is the Cinnamon and package with everything that you need to go because it is stable fast and elegant at the same time so let's check out the cinnamon that is more like approach on the genome 2 with the mate like desktop which is similar to the windows 7 we have the 25.04 that's uh, the short-term support it's maintained until the last quarter of 2025 it shipped with Cinnamon 6.4.8 that contains new software and more feature. This is their website image and then you could click the ISO file or of course if you have the torrent then you just click right here. So when you click this one it will proceed to this website of course then click the ISO file. You could save it just click the save and of course don't forget put it in the download folder okay let's proceed to the genome boxes and then let's open that one let's create the virtual boxes like probably I'll put 8 gigabytes of random access memory plus maybe 50 gigabytes of storage space this is only virtual and let's maximize this one and let's try We are now in the live boot and let's try to install the Ubuntu Cinnamon 25.04 STS short term support. Double click that one, the installer. Let me see if this is the Calamaris installer. Yes, I think this is the Calamaris and let's click next. I choose English that is for my language and I'll just click next, just default one. And of course, the keyboards and language is, of course, English. And because I am using the boxes line connection, the wired connection, if I'm using the hardware, sometimes it will just gonna automatically use the Wi-Fi if you have the Wi-Fi connection. Okay, let's click next. And an update is available for the installer. Mm, update now new feature maybe later okay let's keep that one and of course we have the installer the interactive or the automatic I'll go for the interactive so I want to install the full feature of the cinnamon desktop and maybe later I gonna give it some update and install the operating system well I have to erase everything but of course if you have other operating system you have this alongside either it's gonna be in the top or in the bottom and if you want to have like multiple operating system then you could like opt to the manual but for me, I'm just gonna use the whole disk because I don't have any operating system existing right now. Let's click next. No inscription. Well, I'm just gonna be okay with that one. And of course, I have to name the operating system, the computer that I have. I'll be using my brand name, RealB. And the password will be just only for character password. This is just for my test right now. It is not in my hardware. So let's click next. 
I'll be using let me see if I could change it into Ilo Ilo my hometown okay Ilo Ilo City Philippines okay cool and the insulation well this is the summary I'll be okay with this one everything is all set and let's click oh yeah the partition is SDA because this is a virtual and it virtualized the disk which is the SSD that's why SDA A is for well D drive A so partition 1 partition 2 so the partition 2 will be the operating system partition 1 will be the boot okay that's the thing right here in Linux if it is NVMe then it will be in NVMe P1 for partition 1 P2 for partition 2 okay let's click install and let's wait to hit 100% then let's try to see the initial boot right after okay so it's already done installing and let's try to restart our computer right now okay let's try to open our Ubuntu cinnamon okay let's try to log in and enter our super secret password okay this is the initial boot and we don't have any welcome app okay so we still have the desktop user interface which is the start menu right here of course your apps right here plus you have these quick lunch application launchers and a notification area on the other side we have the internet wired and the volume and the time and date we also have some icons right here so just like in your windows it has also some icons to have this shortcut of the computer or the home folder or the trash but of course you could also remove that one if you wanted to and the whole desktop use oh what is this okay an error okay let's send that one and we also have some updates and install update and let's just move this one because it's still updating okay so this is the whole desktop wallpaper by right clicking your mouse you have the change of your desktop background wallpaper and wow can you imagine that one you have a lot to choose from okay yeah this is the cinnamon wallpaper how about this cat meow how about the aurora borealis how about manhattan and of course that is the default you have different shades okay so let me close that one that is the uh, wallpaper now let's try to go to the appearance by of course going to the settings while the update is still running <laughs> so you could also click this one if you wanted to look for more backgrounds and the effects right here of course traditional fly move okay let's try to have the move and this one the fade okay how about some themes right here so you could also make it like more right here you could download by refreshing or you could also go to the settings right here for your different types of of buttons of your application for example i want to have like this ooh, this one 
and instead of like this which is cinnamon yuru dark I'll change it into something like maybe some blue okay the update is also complete let's close that one and if you want to have more like your settings of your appearance you could also download for more like the transparent panel I like that one how about the wobbly hmm where is wobbly okay there wobble wobble okay let's try to add that one here's one two there there you have it it is now transparent and let's try to have our wobbly yay <laughs> okay that is our wobbly windows okay so that is the desktop user interface with the wallpaper and the appearance and their extension so let's try to look for some apps so the apps has uh, categorized as all apps accessories games graphics internet office sound and videos administration preference and the recent plus the folders and if you want to have the only office instead of like different application for the documents formulas presentation drawing and calc of course you could also look for that right here app center okay we have the synaptic package manager or you could also click the software there so you have two options to install your application either it is in the synaptic package manager or the ubuntu software center of course let's click this one first because we have a lot of updates i already update uh, several of the software already while we are trying to check out the desktop user interface and the appearance but we still need to have install these updates three more the genome 42 plus the Thunderbird and the Firefox after this we could like download or you could also click this uh, search bar for example I will look for only office all-in-one software for your documents presentation spreadsheets pdf or portable document file and all those stuff so we have oh yeah we have the snap we have different snap version right here okay i'll just gonna click this one install let's go back i want to look for another apps okay so let me see obs studio there let's install so the software center is actually a multitask type of installer you could like go back as soon as you click install so that's for our apps and software center of course you have to use sometimes the terminal and that concludes my conclusion and remarks this is not for ordinary user but advanced user which is the basic devs or the developers and it is so easy to install but it is not ready for the newcomer or the beginners real beginners for windows transitioners yes this is so easy for you guys it is so easy it feels like windows so how to shut down of course just click right here in the start menu button you have to look for the shutdown button right here of course log out if you want to like uh, suspend 
and if you want to uh, restart of course that's the reboot button and the shutdown button and of course if you just suddenly just click uh, accidentally you could always cancel that one so anyway that's it for now for our ubuntu cinnamon 25.04 sts the short term support maintain until last quarter of 2025 so if you have some questions feel free to ask me write it in the comments down below so that's it for now and now let's really click shutdown bye for now and see you in the next adventure of os operating system ciao